Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So we're almost done with our mask. It's really well contoured to his arm, the sword, everything that we need is pretty much there. But we have a bit of a difficult dilemma to deal with, and that is his hair. Um, vector masking is next to impossible to use when it comes to hair, so what we have to do is create a separate layer and use a pixel mask. Here's how we're going to do that. With our layer selected, we're going to go to the top menu, press layer, duplicate layer, and call it pixel hair mask. Let's take our new layer, unlock the mask, get rid of the mask. Yes, it's fine. And we've still got everything, and everything just shows up, but that's fine because we still have our original mask there. In fact, we want to hide that and only show our new pixel mask. So, Grab the lasso tool, zoom in a little bit, let's get to 100%, and just let's click around hit the his area from shoulders up, because I'm also going to include the zippers of his shirt or his jacket into our pixel mask. Okay, that's pretty good. Now right click, press refine edge, and let's just start creating brush strokes around his hair. And you will see that the refine edge tool will do the work for you. Try and put the crosshair of the cursor right on the hair so the masking option will get will dig right in there. Let's set our let's turn on our smart radius that way we can let the computer decide what's best which is usually a good idea Now, as you can see, sometimes the brush won't quite get where we need. So, in order to make changes to this before we're finished, you can use the Erase Refinements tool, which is right here. So let's zoom in on this a little bit more. Let's get really close. Let's get in there. Make the brush a little smaller go back to our original refine radius tool and just get in there bam not bad That's pretty good, I like that. So press OK. And now that we have our selection, we're gonna go down to the Layers panel and click on Add Layer Mask. And there we go, it's not bad, but it's not perfect. So we're gonna go in and make a few easy refinements and the way we're going to do that is with the Brush tool. Make sure that your brush is selected white because with masks, when you use white, it adds to the mask rather than takes away from it. So just go over these little areas that looks like it took away from the hair. You definitely want to fill in his skin tones. We can't lose that. And it missed a little bit of his coat. It's pretty good. We got a pretty good bust here. Now we want to combine it with the other mask. And it's pretty simple how to do that. 
we're going to turn on our other layer. We're going to access the selection tools, click on our mask, and just start deleting, which you're actually going to use the pen tool to do. And then just watch the magic. Here's a quick yet quick way to do it fast. With the selection tool, click and drag around the area that you know you've already worked on. And control X. There you go. They're gone. And there you go. We're pretty much done. There's a few little inconsistencies like Zero's ear that I'm going to fix. But like I said, use the same techniques as before and you'll have pretty much a perfect mask. So in the next video, we're going to move Zero over to the poster for the first time. And there's going to be a lot of steps to integrate him properly into the poster, both to make it look natural and to add effects that he wants. I'll see you then.